Rusty I'm passing by you. I'm gonna do a little quick layout update. Nothing fancy, just show what I've done a little bit and maybe a little theory on how I how I have sections of foam that I put together and there's a crack there, how I deal with that with some drywall that mesh drywall tape and spackling compound. Just a little heads up on what I've been doing. Here's a quick update, kind of what I got. Still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do here. That's it. Before these are primary, primarily the switches I'm going to be using. I kind of like those things, and I'm kind of getting everything kind of figured about what I want to do. Get a little bit of a town here. I need a little bit, put some little bit more buildings together, maybe scraps build a little bit. Got a little bit of construction junk in the way. Then I got, I'm going to have my paper mill here. I thought about just totally doing away with that, but. Mm, I got too much stuff back there. I'm kind of watered it down a little bit. I'm gonna turn the light on, get a little bit of. So I'll be able to do something with it. It's just kind of laid in there, and I'll figure it out before long. And anyway, I got the some of the track laid out here, and some of the construction paraphernalia, some more buildings and stuff back there that I'm gonna use. Um, uh, high tech track clamping system when I stack it down and try to glue it in place I put a little bit of light glue on the bottom uh, let's see one of the things I did here was I put white glue on here then I laid the poured the ballast over it and that kind of I was trying that out but I'm, I'm still probably gonna have to put a little ballast on it because it looks okay but not good as I want it's just real good to do for something like this you got the moving parts on with these switches but I do have the crossover here just kind of getting it there. Like I said, I still got some of my stuff out. Still kind of figure out exactly where I'm going to place these. I got a little reassembly of some of these since I took this layout apart two or three times. And I still got to put the foam over there. I'm not sure about over there. I may, that little narrow place there, I may, that may be just where it kind of goes through a salt marsh and swamp area over there. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Then I'll continue the loop around over there. And what I'm going to do here is I have this little light, this little light up here. I'm going to put legs on it. I'm going to put it on the side of this. That way I can make this one. I'm going to have like a, a dock or something there where I can pull like freight cars. I'm going to have like a siding over there. One of them is going to have like some gravel and stuff. I have a little barge that I bought a while back at a train show. That's going to be a scene there. So that's just a real quick layout kind of coming up there. Still got all my paraphernalia out there. I actually installed a TV in here where I can watch TV while I'm doing the layout. Or I usually watch different live streams on there that I watch. If you see me post, I'm usually in here doing work. And where I have, I mean, put this down because this, for some reason, I've been having a little bit more difficult time and I actually like the way this goes down better. And one thing that I do is I use this tape and tape across here. Then I use like a spackling compound or something with this tape. And when it doesn't shrink and crack, like if you just use the compound alone, I mean, that's done right there. I've got it over there done that way. I've used it like that in the past. So when you paint over, you, you can kind of sand it down and paint over it. You can kind of, like I've done a little sand here, you just, like right here, you can feather it. But nice little, just got it built started. It'll be, I think in a few days I'm going to run a train on here just to see a little locomotive with some DC. Just to get going. Well, bye for now. I'll I'm just going to close this thing off and 
where I can do some work on the layout. Well, if you kind of like my progress, it's a little bit done, not much. I'm going to have a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more. I still got to do some finish up some buildings. I'm going to have to paint a lot of this. I'm going to have to cut in some little bayous, little smaller beams in this thing. Kind of, I'm kind of modeling a little bit on where I live, and there's not that much area that you're not going to have some kind of little ditch or creek or bayou or something. And like I said, that one area will probably end up being more of a wilderness area, a little bit of swamp, bayou, a little bit of salt marsh in mixed in there until it comes back to the other side of the layout. I still got some other things I'm thinking about doing, but so far that's what I have. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.